Hi, my name is Marcus Schmidt. I'm the Senior Director of Product at West Unified Communications and welcome to Whiteboard Fridays. So let's talk about messaging. And when we talk about messaging, I want to talk about the comparison and the contrast between instant messaging and enterprise messaging. Or enterprise messaging, you may hear business messaging, work, work, workflow, collaboration, a variety of different terms. But there's basically this world of instant messaging and there's this world of enterprise messaging. I think the best way to think about it is to rewind your brain a little bit and go back to the world of consumer messaging. Remember the old days of, that's a pretty lame looking little, little avatar that would correspond to something like an MSN messenger, for instance, if you remember that, or Windows Live messenger or some of those messaging applications, or the Yahoo messenger, if you ever use Yahoo messenger. Those are all instant messengers, right? Instant messaging platforms. So you would look for a person and you'd find that person and you start exchanging information with them, right? Start exchanging messages with them, do other kinds of things. That basically gave way to the world of not really enterprise messaging, but other kinds of messaging that are more asynchronous, different messaging platforms that don't require you to know that that's the person I'm messaging. You're really talking about messaging a group of people or you can message uh, like a, you know, around a specific event or something like that. So Facebook and WhatsApp, really lame looking WhatsApp icon over there, but basically those instant messaging things that were kind of these closed little systems where it's more about the person gave way to these much more open messaging applications that were part of a broader social environment and opened up to more groups and projects and things like that. That same thing is happening in the enterprise world or in the, in the business world. You've got Skype for Business and Jabber, which are still around and going to be around for a long time. Instant messaging platforms, instant messaging and presence. A lot of times you hear I, M, and P, right? Instant messaging with presence. So I know that the person's there. I can send them a message. Those are giving way to a bunch of different applications that are emerging right now, right? You've got Slack, you've got Cisco Spark, you've got Microsoft Teams, you've got Atlassian's HipChat, you've got on and on and on. There's a bunch of these different enterprise messaging platforms or business messaging platforms or workflow collaboration platforms that are emerging as a complement to and maybe potentially a replacement for some of these things. So it basically helps you start to collaborate better with your colleagues in a much more group environment. You can more easily share content. You can more easily have meetings. These are really easy to basically turn a group of people into a meeting. Also has a lot of better persistence capability, a lot better search capability. So you can find the content you want. You can go back and rewind and see, you know, what was what was the message I had, you know, a couple months ago when we were talking about this before. So this is a big trend that's happening, I think, in unified communications. So if you hear some people talk, they're basically saying that this is the next big unified communications thing. The first thing was the phone, the second thing was email, and the third thing is going to be this whole enterprise messaging or business messaging platform. I think the jury's still out on that, but we're excited to see some of these. We've been working really closely with Cisco on the Spark platform, for instance. So we'd love to chat with you about this trend, see how you're basically fitting into this continuum. What are you doing on the instant messaging side? Are you thinking about the enterprise messaging side and how can you maybe use both? Or maybe you start to make the switch from one to the other. So give us a call at West Unified Communications. We'd love to chat with you about it.